Hi, third graders. We're going to be reading this story called The Big Blizzard. Um, it's a historical fiction, so it's a story placed back, um, back in, you know, a time that's not now. Um, and this story's essential question is, how can weather affect us? So let's go ahead and listen together. Rosa and Eddie Hernandez huddled close to the radio and listened carefully to the news. The blizzard of 1947 is the biggest snowstorm in New York City history. We are getting large amounts of snow. The weather conditions are terrible. Parents are forbidding their children to go outside. The weather forecast for today is better. The forecast predicts that the snow will stop. Everyone should help each other during this big snowstorm. Oh, Mama, whispered Rosa, will Papa ever get home from work? Mama gave Rosa a hug. He must be stuck at work and can't get home, she said. He is stranded, but don't worry. I'm sure he will be home soon. Mama went into the kitchen to make lunch, but came out holding her coat. We are out of milk and bread, she said. I need to go to the market. Rosa and Eddie had been stuck inside for two days, so they begged to go with Mama. No, said Mama, it is too cold. Okay, so sometimes it can be too cold that you can't even go outside. I know we've all kind of been inside a lot, but this one's due to the weather. Rosa and Eddie knew they shouldn't argue, but they were tired of being indoors. Please take us. We can all go to the market together, said Eddie. Okay, said Mama with a sigh, but we have to stay close to each other. Mama helped Rosa and Eddie bundle up in their warm clothes. When they got outside, they were astonished and amazed to see so much snow. Their neighbor, Mr. Colin, was holding two shovels. Who wants to help shovel snow? he asked. Rosa and Eddie took turns shoveling. Shoveling was hard work, but no one fussed or complained. When they were done, they looked across the street. Mrs. Sanchez was trying to move snow with a small broom. Her market was snowed in. Mr. Colin, May we please borrow your shovels? asked Rosa. We want to help Mrs. Sanchez. Shoveling the front of the store was easy for Rosa and Eddie. Mrs. Sanchez was grateful for their help. She gave Mama milk and bread from her store as thanks. Then, as Rosa, Eddie, and Mama crossed the street to go home, they heard a familiar voice. Is that Rosa and Eddie? Papa, they shouted and ran over to him. Rosa told Papa how they spent the afternoon shoveling snow. It's such a relief and a comfort to be home, said Papa. I am very proud of you for helping. All right, you guys, that's the end of the story. Don't forget to go ahead and answer the questions below. And if you need to listen to this video more than once, feel free. Have a great day, you guys.